Hello YouTube, NASCAR fan 4888JJ here, and I'm here today to talk about NASCAR's new title, new sponsor for 2017. And guys, just right off the bat, I'm gonna say thanks for all the support. Thank you a lot for 5,000 subscribers. It's amazing, and I'll be making uh, another video here soon, here probably the next week or so. More on that, but back to the main topic. Monster Energy. NASCAR is going to be sponsored by Monster Energy, and I am so excited about this. I ran and told my brother, told my dad, told my mom, told my pet cat. I was super excited because how much this could offer. First of all, uh, if you haven't heard of this, you have been sleeping under a rock for the past few days, and I found out about it a couple of days ago, and I just thought all of it could offer for NASCAR. Uh, so, to start off, Sprint offered NASCAR $50 million a year. It's a $50 million contract per year. Monster Energy is only $20 million. So that's less than half of what Sprint offered. So you know Monster Energy is going to do more than Sprint did. More interaction with the fans. And they are used to this type of stuff. They have been involved in motorsports ever since they began. They've been uh, with... Rally Cross, they were partnered with Mercedes Benz and F1, and obviously the Monster Energy Supercross, all types of dirt bike and everything. It's insane. So they know basically the culture of motorsports and knows how it goes. Unlike Sprint, Nextel, Xfinity, almost every sponsor NASCAR has ever had. So first of all, Monster Energy would bring fans. Uh, to the sport which would be amazing the fan base has been dying out uh, the attendance at races has been dying out because of the ticket prices also the lack of motivation to come interest and everything and the Monster Energy would do a lot of stuff for the fans I did go to a Monster Energy motocross event one time and they did so much more with the fans than Sprint ever did whenever I went to NASCAR races. I went to about... I've been to a ton of NASCAR races. I'd say that I did more at the motocross uh, event sponsored by Monster Energy than I did at 10 NASCAR races combined. And also just think the activities at the track that Monster Energy could do. They could have some of their dirt bike guys I, I don't even know what people from their series and just do uh, like jumps and ramps and backflips for a pre-race show instead of like a pre-race concert just have a pre-race motocross show that'd be really cool I think and that would bring more interest mostly for the younger crowd as a more motivation to come to the track and they said that they have a lot of plans, and they will be also hosting the All-Star event. So that will be kind of cool to see how different it is than the rest of the races. So I'll definitely be watching that. And I feel like it will be really exciting. But also, uh, I was watching this video as a press conference. It was the announcement with Brian France. And this guy named Mitch Covington, I think that's his name, he's with Monster Energy. And he was asked a question what Monster Energy could bring to the sport, and I'll leave the link to the full video in the description. But he said that what they could bring to the sport is drivers from around the world, and that, oh, that was amazing. Because NASCAR needs drivers, like, well-known around the world. Like, I know they're... Uh, partnered with Ken Block and Rally Cross and Mercedes Benz and F1. Like, if they had an experimental or a reserve driver in F1 for Mercedes Benz and come over and get experience in NASCAR or just an upcoming rally racer, World Rally Cross Championship racer, come over and get experience in NASCAR because. I was really amazed at the connections that Monster Energy has with other people and the involvement in other motor racing they have. They've got connections in Europe and Asia and North and South America. 
mostly North America, Europe, and Asia, though, and uh, a little bit in Australia. So that could mean drivers from all around the world, and it would just be like a big pinpoint on the map for because I know it, NASCAR is basically foreign. Well, obviously it's foreign in other countries. But people know almost nothing about it. NASCAR has branched off into the Euro Series, the Mexico Series here in the past few years, the Pinty Series. So that's really cool. And the fact that Monster Energy could bring NASCAR, the main series, to other countries as well. Because the Monster Energy Super, or not Supercross, the Motocross Series had never raced outside the country. And I believe they went to London. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm almost 100% sure that they brought that series out of the country at least. Uh, at least in Canada or Canada, <laughs> Canada or Mexico, but I don't want to go on for too long, guys. I would love to see what you have to say in the comments below. Thanks again for all the support, and I'll be making another video on that soon. Anyways, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video.